Welcome to the arcade! Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the season finale of Game of Thrones. I am, of course, uh, Tyrion Lannister. With me is Jon Snow. That's right, I'm Jon Snow, not, not Ringo Starr. Uh, and as you can see, we are descending on uh, King's Landing, uh, trying to defeat... <laughs> you know nothing, Jon <laughs> Snow. <laughs> Trying to beat Cersei Lannister. Because uh, in the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. Also, there's lots of spikes. Yep. No, this is uh, Phantological <laughs> Arcade. I am your host, Nick T. With me is my good friend, Nick Z. Hey. And we are working our way through the... Bit by bit, bit by bit, baby, baby steps, as they say. Take three. <laughs> no, we are working our way through Shovel Knight, a game that we are almost finished. Not that we're, I don't know. I've been enjoying it, so not that we're in any particular rush to wrap it up. But we're almost done. It's it's not a super long game, but it's it's been challenging for us. It's been a not a grind, but it's been a, a challenging thing. I don't know why oh, yeah. I'm talking about how hard it is because he's the one who's been playing it. Well, I mean, hopefully hopefully you're saying how hard it is doesn't mean that it's been hard to watch. Oh, that'd be terrible. Yeah, if it's hard to watch, then it's definitely all your fault. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I hope it hasn't been hard to watch. Uh, we are about to face off against the Enchantress, I think. Or Enchanter. Oh my, how have you not died yet? It's the luck of the shovelish. <laughs> just ran, just ran out. Uh, <laughs> you need to get that coin out and flip it to see if you uh, live or you die. Um, yeah, so we're facing off the the game's main villain, the Enchantress. We have beaten all of the Order of No Quarter, uh, who have allied themselves with the Enchantress. Oh my god! Okay, I think I know how to solve this this puzzle. All right, I'm I'm all eyes. Oh, Hopefully hey, you're not all game. ears, because then you'd probably be dead. <laughs> that was a weird glitch. <laughs> just like, yeah, you know, whatever, you can pass through solid objects, it's fine. It's all good. Don't ask too many questions. Uh, yeah, phasing off the, the main villain, or villain S, I guess, depending on what you've set the settings to. I think we have a villain. I don't, I think the accepted term is villain anyway. I don't know why I made a distinction. Um, wow, that is super effective. Uh, yeah. But like, like in most Mega Man games, I think we have to face off against everybody again. And we'll see how that goes, because it's so amazing. Oh, it was dangerous in here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and, as we're wrapping up this game, outside, we are getting into fall weather. And I'm wondering, uh... Oh, this isn't a really folly game. This is just kind of a game about Ooh. shovels. Mm -hmm. Definitely not about chivalry or anything. Only shovels. Well, chivalry, sure. Yeah. Not love. Just chivalry. Yep. I think, uh... Brian Adams wrote a song about that. Oh yeah, all for all for shove. I think Shove so. Obviously referring to shovels and not love. I didn't mishear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't miss see that. <laughs> I didn't even know you could poke a but right? <laughs> I'm learning so much about this game. See, I, I enjoy teaching people things. You know, it's uh. It's good to good to be able to do that, right? You can reach up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I I was in the middle of a joke and I don't even remember anymore because there's so much going on now. Brian, okay. Brian Adams? No, it's not important. <laughs> Whoa! That was pretty badass. 
Um, oh, they've, they're really putting you through the paces now. I think they have the timer set on that to like deliberately account for that taking longer than expected. Oof. You. <laughs> I mean, you can. St ah. ah. I think you need the propeller to get back up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a bit of a challenge. <clears throat> oh boy, not this again. A little bit of a challenge. Z, what has been the hardest part of this game? Um, I, I think Propeller's Knight's stage was probably the hardest. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you know, you've said in the past that you don't really need the relics to finish the game, and... I definitely think that's the case, but they they come in handy a lot in the stages where you can buy them for the first time. And I think if I had had the propeller for Propeller Knight stage, it would have been a lot easier to get through a lot of the uh, air stuff. Wait, is it just sitting at the bottom? Yep. Oh. That's convenient. Yeah. Merciful, almost. <laughs> well, what was it? When Mega Man <laughs> 10 came out, they added an easy mode where it's like, cool, this will actually put platforms oh. over top of the spikes. Wow. To make it easier. Wow, that's like putting the bumpers up for bowling. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. I don't know, I never I never tried that. There was an even harder mode where you could play as Proto Man. Because oh. you didn't have a helmet, so you took more damage. Oh. Or something like that. Stark reminder to all the kids out there to wear their helmets <laughs> or they take more damage in bike crashes. <laughs> oh boy. What about what about falling into pits? Is there a thing that I can do to avoid falling into pits? Where is the beat in this game? Mm. Mm. You know, save you from falling into pits just once. Oh man, that that would be some pretty cool DLC. You get like beat and rush type characters in this game. Yeah, I just feel like, hey, Hideo... No, wait, Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> hey, Keiji and Afune? Yeah. Okay, cool. I got... guy. Hey, just like, could we drop some stuff? He's like, cool, I'll talk to Capcom. And it's like, hey, Capcom. And the answer is just no. Just immediately, nope. Nope, Arino. Nope, 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 nope. It's surprising how many of those... How many games you probably played as a kid and they're all by the same group. Yeah, but at the time you didn't even think about that, right? You were just playing a game and it was just this fun thing you were doing. You weren't really thinking about... At least I know that I wasn't really thinking about the people making it until maybe like... Yoshi's... Yoshi's Island? Oh. Did you ever play a game called Captain Comic? No. Okay. It was I had it I had it for the NES. It was like a weird cart that did not look like a normal NES cart. Hmm. It was was like it like a powder blue color? Just ram it. <laughs> All of your problems can be accomplished by having rainbow dragons <laughs> shoot at other things. <laughs> there are no other solutions to problems. Uh no. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Should I cue some fast forwarding? You might, you might need to, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, those. Whoa. Oof. That was unfortunate. Just like that was unfortunate. <sighs> Boy. Oh. Okay. Yep. What were your games? Fall. I don't games remember anymore. Fall. Well, I mean, you mentioned the uh, the powder blue NES cartridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a really strange game. I'm not sure what the point of it was. You wandered around in a bunch of different areas and were supposed to collect things? I don't know. There was nothing revealed in terms of what the objective was. Hmm. So I, I don't really... Oh, it played a famous piece of music. Is that Vivaldi's Four Seasons? Maybe? I don't know. It played that during part of it. I was like, oh, this is weird. I don't remember very much about it. I think I still have the game, but I have an NES that is very... Actually, it doesn't matter. I have a 
<laughs> Retron that works. What are we? We should be playing this. Figure out what the heck it is. Yeah. See where it goes. Get up a game fact and Ooh. open it up. I think there's secrets. Write our own game fact for it. Oh man. Uh, this game is poopy garbage. <laughs> Not this game. This game is actually pretty good. You heard it here, folks. Ah, no. You heard it here <laughs> first, folks. Shovel Knight, poopy garbage. Yeah, and if you hate this channel, make sure to tell <laughs> everyone about it. And uh, <laughs> But re remember, you can't unsubscribe in anger unless you've already subscribed. <laughs> oh, this is the part you're going to hate. Okay, G great. Because <laughs> it's all your favorite things, moving platforms and no. the level moves. You might want to be invincible. Yep. I'm not saying you need to be, but, you know, it might help. Oh, I am invincible. I am invincible as long as however that song goes. What are you doing? <laughs> Shovel for your life. Oof. <laughs> like, I'm just going to sit here. It's fine. Oh, no, I can't dig up. No. No. Oh. Were you live down there for a moment? Maybe for a moment. But for only... a moment, then the moment's gone. Yep. That's too accurate to this situation. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. why do the banks of money have wings? That's what you're gonna ask. I mean, well, I, I know it's like... It's just to, so that they don't fall in the pits that you fall in or whatever. There's that, that practical reason. But I mean, like, in-game, what's, what's the in-universe explanation? I don't know. What's the in-universe explanation for you losing your money? Um, I don't, when I die, I don't, I don't usually... Uh, when I die, which is repeatedly... <laughs> I've died more than once. I've died once. Uh, oh, man. Why does he drop bags of money? I think it's a game mechanics thing. I don't think there's an in-universe explanation. And now I forget what I was gonna ask. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's thematic. It th thematically works, just like the rats that have helicopters. How are they held on to the rats? Those. Uh... Oh my goodness! You are just barely keeping up with all this. I am quite frankly surprised that the game hasn't killed you yet. There it goes. I see you were there. <laughs> you were so close. <sighs> all right, all right. Almost did it. Almost got that. If I must solve this mystery, this puzzle, Why don't this you conveyor just belt. Use the propeller to. Give yourself some forward momentum. Solved. <laughs> I see, this is a nine pipe problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Invincibility. I guess if you're quick, you can get up there and get that. Yep, but I'd rather be quick than dead. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would rather be <laughs> quick than dead? Wonder why, I wonder how that decision-making process went. Well, if you get up there, then... Yeah, okay, this is looking... Uh... <laughs> oh, I remember now. <sighs> I was like, we should do a... I was going to make a note to future me, which is was... What... what it's gonna make a note to future me. Yeah. Which was that I should take all of the times that you died, because I love making work for myself. <laughs> I should take all the times that you died and do like a America's funniest videos ah. style. You know, just take some corny music and run it in the background. Somebody order a hot dog. <laughs> uh, get some Bob get Bob Saget involved in this project. <laughs> He's got nothing to do, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Full House, is that still a thing on Netflix? or? I don't know if it finished or what, but Fuller House was, was a that's, thing on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, that's what I mean. Fuller yeah, House. Yeah, yeah. Is that still going, though? I have no idea. I heard it had, like, the lowest ratings of any Netflix show. Oh, wow. 
I would have figured that, you know, people, would, their fond memories would have kept it going for at least a little bit. A little bit. Right, but, like, if it's not good... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, nostalgia doesn't save everything. <laughs> Sometimes you watch something and you're like, this was bad, or this was problematic, or this mm-hmm. was not as good as I remember. Unless it's DuckTales, in which case it definitely was as good as you remember. Why don't you just go up the right side? Because I want to make things harder for myself. It's The game itself <laughs> is is a regular amount of challenge. I'm not sure that upping the challenge is... Oh my goodness. Helpful! Nah. Ah! Well, I mean, the good news is that if you can make it up there, I'm pretty sure you're at the boss. Bad news is... You haven't made it up there yet. Not yet. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, other bad news. The boss has two forms. You boy. And I don't remember if you get to start from the second form when you beat the first form. Feel kind of like you would, but that's just a feeling. Oh, wait. And also we have to face off against all the bad guys again. I'm pretty sure that um, at least you get like an apple or something after each one of those. Uh, that sounds right. Go to the right. Yeah. <clears throat> New problem. Going up too fast. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing. It like pulls you up if it goes up. Which is kind of neat. That'd be kind of funny. You make it to the top, and then you just, like, take one hit and die. That would be tragic. Tragic, but appropriate. Or if you, like, went to the top and died, because it's like, <laughs> you can't go up here yet. <laughs> hey. There you go. Woo. Can't all be bombs. Not sure why they'd give you two chickens, though. Hey. Wee. <laughs> this is rich. <laughs> did any of the other genders swap? It looks like uh, King Knight did. Plague Knight has a witch's hat, so I'm assuming probably. Probably. And I think uh, oh, Treasure Knight Christ too. <laughs> Treasure Knight looks a little bit less like Big Daddy. Yeah. Look at all the little details they put in the animation. Like <laughs> the uh, northern winter night, whatever. Yeah. It's like chewing on stuff. Oh, wait, you have to face off all against. Oh, yeah, oh. that's definitely a queen knight. It's got a dress. Yeah. Or rather, I should say that. Oh, whatever. You know what I mean. You do know what you mean. I'm not trying to be sexist. <laughs> The way the game is constructed. <laughs> you know that when you do that thing, you can release like a powerful slash when you. Yeah, when I've jumped twice. Yeah. It's just that if. Not having a lot of luck landing the hit. Yeah. Pogoing seems to be. Most just effective. Simply su- yeah, super effective. One down. Oh, they give you eat foods. Eat. Sorry, folks. The tension is just like <laughs> we finally made it here, and I'm like, are we, are we gonna have to do this again? At least if we have to do it again, it's a very short distance to travel. As compared to before, which was like, okay, let's do everything all over again. This is silly, but can you just, like, cheat and go break that wall up into the right? I don't think the answer is yes. Also, you're almost dead. Oh, maybe I can find out on this run. I don't I don't think you can <laughs> do that. I think it opens up after you beat them all. That would make some kind of sense. Unless that's the secret... In one of these levels, there is a, a <clears throat> secret that you can unlock. Oh? 
Like, there's a giant pit and a drawbridge, and if you jump over the pit... Wait, do you face off against a different one? I think it's just random. Okay. It goes in a random order. Uh, there's a giant pit, and if you jump across it... Yeah? I think if you have the propeller, then you can go into, like, Tinker Knight's secret lab or something. Huh. I don't remember. Bouncy balls, also effective. As effective as pogoing? Who knows? <sighs> You're just getting wrecked by those walls. One more! One more! Alright, two down. Looks like it's time for you to serve up some justice. I like how that one has, like, a snow shovel. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but they have a snow shovel. Looks like you're out of magic. Yep. They, it'll take four more hits. Three more hits. Two more hits. One more hits. Oof. Oh, gave me magic too. Awesome. Uh, that one might not be the most effective one to use. <laughs> no. Oh, platforms. Yeah, gotta be reminiscent of the original stages. When it's spinning, it just looks like an axe. Yeah. <sighs> this was the one that you used the fireball a lot on. Yep. Yeah. Or just pogo to death. That was effective. If you could have the powers of any of the knights, and it wasn't Shovel Knight, which of the Order of No Quarter would you have? Hmm. Um, man. I think I'd probably go with Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight? Yeah, being able to, like, fly around, carry a cool scythe. Of course. <laughs> I see you two are <laughs> young <laughs> I'd probably go with Propeller Knight. Yeah? Yeah. Because of the airship? I mean, the airship's a plus. <laughs> I don't know, just flying around and shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh no, it got dark! How are you spo possibly supposed to fight in the dark? Oof. Oh no, more skeletons. Four more hits. Three more hits. Two more hits. One more hits. Just one more. We could go Ooh. all the way. Woo! Oh boy. I hope you don't have to fight both. Yeah, you definitely have to face both forms. Defo. Are they pigtails or are they ears? I guess they're pigtails. I would, I would guess pigtails. Is the quality of pigtails that they look like a curly thing, or I don't un I don't understand. Well, I, I think the pigtails are the, like generally, as far as I understand, hair. When you put it into a ponytail, it's pretty much you know just like having long hair, just glides down the back. But when you get to stuff like pigtails, I think they do kind of curl out more just because of the way you're bunching the hair up. Yes, yeah, both forms. Oh, for sure. Fortunately, the second form doesn't really pose a lot of resistance. Because you just kind of, like, pogo off of it. Yep. And occasionally it backs into a wall. If you pogo correctly, you can, like, avoid all the ones coming at you. See, look at that. 
completely ineffectual on its part. I never realized there's these gears that are like grinding right at the front of it. Yeah. Like if you fell down into it, it would definitely be mangled to death. Also not 100% clear what the lance is for. Where are the spikes on the right hand side? <laughs> Which seem to do absolutely nothing. It's all very dangerous stuff that has to be there. Uh, it looks like it has... Yeah, you want to quickly if possible. Use it! Use it! No, you got the fish! Go back! Ah, no! Ah. Whew. Okay, because I was about to say, it only has like five hits to go. <laughs> and you've got less than one. Boom! Oof. Alright, that'll make the next one easy too. Maybe there is one more level, but the last level is just immediately facing off against the boss. I think that might be the case. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, well that got lucky. Oh, uh, one more! Okay, so now you can just laugh it up, fuzzball. It'd be funny if they could steal your chicken. Ha! That would be terrible. The worst. If it just gave them an extra row of health. <laughs> <laughs> I forget if I was playing a game and it's like, oh, this isn't so bad, and then like a second health bar appeared. Oh. And I was just like, oh no. Or like I thought I was whittling down its health, and then I realized there was underneath the first bar was a second bar. <sighs> Man, or the bar starts out as red, but then you get it down to the bottom, it turns like green or something. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, wait, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Pretty much. Where are all the coins coming from? <laughs> Just how much treasure Treasure Knight has, you know? I really like the redesigns of the characters. Yeah. It's not even that dramatic, but it, like, adds enough detail. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure that the female Propeller Knight has... It looks like rapier guard earrings. <laughs> well, are they earrings or are they just the the controls for the propeller? They could be. Maybe they just slightly altered the design. I'd have to put them side by side to find out. Oh, you're getting wrecked, by the way. I know. I think you knew that, but might want to have that at the ready. Yep. Or just use it now. Uh, it has half its health gone. You are losing health faster than. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hello and welcome to like a half an hour of screaming. You could have chose any YouTube channel, and for some reason you chose this one. Uh, Propeller Knight has one health. Oh, I know. Gotta wait until Propeller Knight gets vulnerable again. Whew. Dramatic end. You can save them. Oh, wait. You have to save. Oh, no, wait. You gonna save them or what? Oh, you can also talk to each of them. Oop. Share notes. <laughs> Chandeliers! <laughs> curse you, Shovel Knight! <laughs> well, hope you're ready for the big bad.
because that's where we're going. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> what? Mm. Polar Knight. That's who it is. Yep. All right. Okay. Are we gonna? Should should we do this next time, or should we just go for it? I think we should do it next time on our final. I thought this was the final. Apparently, this is the penultimate <laughs> episode. Let's do this on the final episode of uh, Shovel Knight for Phantomological Arcade. Mm-hmm.